If you want to know what really went on in Vietnam, watch this. My plan was to Xerox the study and reveal the secret history of the Vietnam War to the American people. I don't really have a lot of heroes, but Daniel Ellsberg is one of my heroes because to risk his career, to risk everything he had, to risk life in prison, to risk not seeing his children again except through, you know, glass and talking on a phone, in order to spread the truth to the American people about how presidents were lying about Vietnam and, and lying about what was going on in Indochina, to me, it's one of the single greatest acts of heroism that I've ever come across. A name has now come out as the possible source of the Times Pentagon documents. It is that of Daniel Ellsberg, the top policy analyst for the Defense and State Department. I think it is time in this country to quit making national heroes out of those who steal secrets and publish them in the newspaper. Most people, although their perception might be shaded as somewhat dark in what went on in Vietnam, don't really understand exactly how deeply wrong it was, how much of a lie it was, and how many people died, and what the civilian cost of it was, as well as the 58,000 American soldiers who died. I think it's uh, really one of the most important documentaries that I've seen come along in a long time because it, it educates people on something that is, that is perhaps more important than anything we could be educated on right now in light of the fact that we continue to be in a state of perpetual war for perpetual peace as Gore Vidal liked to say. Early 1965, the Vietnam War was about to expand and I was one of its planners. I had received orders from Secretary of Defense Robert McNamara to gather examples of atrocities perpetrated by the Viet Cong. The Secretary hoped such intelligence would convince President Johnson to launch a systematic bombing campaign against North Vietnam. I had voiced my personal opposition to the tactic of bombing the North, but an order from McNamara for fast action was like an order from God. Yeah, I, I think the documentary is really amazing and powerful and, uh, you know, it hits you right square in the chest. It, it's uh, because, it, because it makes you take responsibility for what happened, what America perpetrated on another portion of the world. I began Xeroxing the McNamara study in the fall of 1969. At the end of the day, working at Rand, I would put several volumes into my briefcase to take with me. Walking past the security guards, I could feel my heart beating. I couldn't help thinking about the dozen or so secrecy agreements I had signed over the course of my career in government. The task seemed endless. I often worked through the night. Early in the morning, I returned the papers to my safe at Rand and headed home. I love this movie. Go see it. It wasn't that we were on the wrong side. We were the wrong side.